Today is like a festival in Thailand. It's annual traditional Thai festival. People gather here to release gratos and celebrate like a festival. The entrance was decorated with color lights and color flags that look spectacular decoration. I saw a lot of beautiful gratos that made from crispy corns and biscuits in the pot. Gratons were made from banana trees crafted into the lotus shape, folded banana leaf and decorated with flower. Nowadays, making gratons have more creative and design from several materials such as brick bread, potato slice, crispy cans, biscuits, ice, and so on. Some ideas created from feeding aquatic animals. However, traditional croton can still be found for sale in the main festival size. During walking throughout the festival area, I was really hungry because there are a lot of food shops for shopping and eating. Some people are ready to throw their croton into the river to pay less back and give thanks to the goddess of water that we call Pratme Konka. We also ask for forgiveness that we have been using too much water and destroy natural waterway. Previously, there are many cultural activities in Ligatong festival sites such as Lambong dance performance, Gatong making competition, and beauty contests. Even the annual Ligatong activities have been held throughout the country to preserve the Thai tradition, but under some restrictions to prevent the spread of COVID-19, this year we celebrate with our recreational activities. Lagatong festival is celebrated in the evening of the 12th full moon of the Thai lunar calendar. It usually falls in the month of October or November. Therefore, the Lagatong date is not fixed, it changes every year depending on the full moon. This year it takes place on 19 November. I got a beautiful gatong from festival area before releasing. I pray for the goddess of water to bring me a good fortune and having enough water for consumption all year long. I hope you enjoyed Lagatong Festival. Thank you for watching. See you next time.